Hi, Fatima. Welcome to this conversation with Kaleej Times. Fatima, uh, you know, uh, today you are celebrated as one of UAE's first female professional endurance riders. How does that make you feel? Uh, I feel happy. <laughs> well, uh, it's a very great honor to be part of uh, Canon Trailblazers. Uh, this, is, uh, this means so much to me as an Emirati uh, gold achiever. And I hope I inspire more other women uh, and uh, as much as I can uh, to just motivate them and be what they want to be. Yeah. Uh, Fatima, you know, yeah. uh, especially in recent years, uh, women have managed to break the glass ceiling in so many ways. But when you started off, it must have been a really a tough uh, uh, new sport for you. But uh, I mean, because you actually, you know, challenge certain stereotypes that were in this profession, especially. So what was the worst bias you ever faced and how did you manage to overcome it? Uh, as a startup uh, lady for this uh, sport, it wasn't easy for me, not because of my parents. My parents were the first uh, people who uh, 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 motivated me, encouraged me to, to do it because my uncle used to be a horse rider and uh, my mom uh, made a joke for me and she said that uh, I used to uh, ride a donkey, why you don't ride a horse? So it was so uh, easy for me uh, from my parents' side, but as a challenge, uh, it wasn't easy because at the first time when I started, it was very difficult because, you know, there's a technique that I have to learn. I have to do a practice. If I stop, and if I practice and then I stop to uh, like a, a short, even a short like uh, period, it's be, it will be like a short time. It will be like very difficult for me. Uh, it needs to be like, I have to be more fit as a rider. Uh, in the at the beginning, I was falling down, uh, falling down a lot from the horses, um, pains uh, on my body. It was very difficult, but step by step, my path is like uh, more challenges. But I always accept the challenges, and uh, I'm so happy and proud of what I am now. Um, Fatima, what makes horses so special for you? Because, you know, we were just, uh, I mean, thinking about it, this is one of those professions where, you know, it's of course your ability, but you connect with the horses, which are so important as well, right? Yes, of course, of course. Um, to be a horse rider, not just to ride the horse. For me, uh, what helps me or what, what, what helped me to be a professional horse rider, uh, the body language. Uh, this is my first uh, part um, to connect with the horse. Um, the body language makes me understand more the horse, uh, understand what he wants and how I reflect that to understand me as a rider, what I want from him. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know it's, 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 a, 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 it's a bit difficult, but during the time it's the rider, himself or herself used to practice this way, uh, the uh, way of communication between the rider and the, the horse, it will be a smooth and easy for, for, the, for both of them. Because in the races, um, I do face some uh, difficulties at the beginning, but now when I already learned the body language, it's so easy for me and the good story that when I ride a very difficult horse and other riders, they know that this horse is difficult. And they were, during the, the race, they asked me, uh, how is the horse? I'm like, he's fine. He's good. He's cool. <laughs> so the, the impact for them is, how come? This is a difficult horse. We saw him before. So it, 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 it's very like, it's very nice and good to have a, uh, a uh, good communication uh, of, of the body language between the rider and the horse. Mm -hmm. okay. And Fatima, today you're an inspiration to an entire generation and not just regionally, but globally also, you know, because social media carries stories across the world as well. Yeah. Growing up, who was that one woman that you looked up to for an inspiration? 
Um, first of all, my mom. <laughs> my mom, she was uh, my inspiration uh, until now, because um, although she sometimes says no, but not directly no. Okay. Like, if I say no, you have to convince me. <laughs> so I'm convincing him, I'm convincing her, convincing her like, um, uh, you say no because you don't know what's, what's, what's behind this no. <laughs> so I start to convince her and until she says, like, she prayed for me, God bless you, and just go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fatima, yeah. also on the occasion of Women's Day, what message would you like to give out to this young generation out there? A lot of young girls who are hoping to carve their own path based on your own experience on the track. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, I feel so happy to help others, uh, other women uh, to uh, positively influence them uh, to uh, achieve what they want to achieve. Before uh, horse riding in endurance, especially, there were no like, uh, it's only like a specific, um, I mean, limited number of uh, Emirati women who were com competing in this, uh, uh, in, in this uh, part of uh, sport. But now um, I'm, I'm very happy to see even young Emirati ladies, they are competing with men. Mm -hmm. And, you know, before, there, it was very like limited, even in between men and women, because you know sometimes, the, like before, uh, the uh, the trainers were not put their trust for women, because mm. they always say that they are a weak, they cannot uh, control the horses. But now, alhamdulillah, uh, everything is changed. Uh, women, they can even young women they can compete with men and they can become a top three in, 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 in endurance races so I'm, I'm very happy for this and i really like i feel um, proud and some uh, young women like ladies around me they come and ask me how do we do this how we can do this i cannot go i cannot for the for the first time especially those who do first time racing they're like we feel afraid we feel scared we don't want to compete because sometimes it was with the high speed so yeah. they become nervous mm -hmm. and i start helping them you can do it you can do it just do this and this and this and now they are like mashallah top <laughs> i'm so happy for them yeah. and um also because you know my biggest inspiration in this world like like after mom is Sheikh Zaid, he I, like just whenever I want to, like whatever I want to do, I just remember his words because he left us like um, he put this equality between men and women. Like I'm very happy. I'm so proud of this. Like anything on my mind, I want to achieve it directly. I uh, remember his words and I I just go for it. Although I face difficulties, although I face challenges, but I'm still like, oh my mind, I'm a goal achiever. I want to do this, and I will lose it. I will reach it. Okay. Fatima, you just spoke about you know the hours that you have to actually spend uh, during this uh, endurance riding. So tell us, what's the longest you have mm -hmm. uh, ridden? I mean, as in uh, on a horse, like what's the how many hours have you gone through on a daily basis? Um. It's not actually daily, daily basis, but as long as I do a long ride, okay. because we have a long ride and we have a short ride. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm keeping myself fit and ready on the races, um, this is the most important thing. But if I keep my top uh, um, going for a training or doing, um, you know, training, riding, uh, for a long time, this will it will not work for me because after that, when I go for a, for a race, I will feel tired. So I make sure that if it's not a daily basis, day by like uh, three days or four days a week. So I make sure that I keep myself fit and I I'm I'm ready that next race I will be. Uh, 
I mean, I will perform good or well. So this is what, like, uh, this is most important thing. I keep myself fit because if I go to the gym, the, the, the you know, uh, being fit in gym, it's different than being fit with horse riding. Yes. It's, yes. it's totally different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're not uh, riding a horse, how do you like to unwind? What do you do for entertainment? How, uh, I do go for um, uh, running. Okay. I do go for uh, uh, sometimes uh, hiking. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep myself moving around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fatima, we also wanted to know, I mean, you've achieved so much at such a young age, but what drives you, pro uh, I mean, professionally or personally? What makes you get up in the morning and, you know, take on a day when you have probably a hard race coming up? What's it that you tell yourself? I'm aiming, actually. I'm aiming to the top. This is the first thing that comes on my mind. I'm aiming to the top and I'm going to do that. So every day I go, like, uh, or every race I work, wake up in the morning, uh, you know, it's sometimes by luck, sometimes I cannot com uh, complete the races, but I don't go out the race and there's nothing I learned about. So every single race teach me something new. So I'm, I'm very happy for that. I mean, I'm a, like, I'm, as a person, uh, from my person inside, uh, I don't feel sad if I don't get top 10 or I don't complete the race, but I feel happy that I left the race and I learned something in me. Yeah. So Fatima, yeah. finally, uh, how do you define strength in a woman? What makes a woman strong according to you? Uh, well, um, believing on myself. This is what makes me stronger. Okay. I believe in myself. I always, every, when I set like uh, my wish list, I always put, I can do and I will. And then I wish, I put my wish list and then I put the exact date or the exact month. This month I will achieve this and this. Okay. So this is what makes me stronger. <laughs> Thank you so much, Fatima. It was lovely speaking to yeah. you. Thank you.